tyrants and managers, they go together like fries and ice cream, a combination you never expected to taste good, but once you tried it, you can never go back. Welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. Let's get into the ridiculous clips. Here we have a guy who's confronting a person who has decided to be very racist towards them, and well, here's what happens. You call me a little f you racist? You Say it again. Why don't you? I, of course, I have it. I have, this guy I have it. You, let them come. You tell you tell them that you call me a. N you tell them again, okay? You think I'm scared? Oh wait, she called me a. N oh my God. Yeah. And you are. Racist. Yep. Keep saying. Keep saying. Yep. Got you on the camera, okay? You're gonna go viral, okay? Fuck you, racist. I don't give a. F yo. Okay. Say it again. Oh, you see? She's assaulting me right now. Say it again. You call me a. N right? Say it again. Say it again, fuck you. Genius. Absolute genius. At least beforehand you had, like, the ability to potentially deny because he may not have been able to prove that you were being racist before he started filming. But then you decide to go, nope, ne yeah, you are one. Put the finger up and then wind your window out and try and whack his phone out of his hand. Absolute genius. The IQ on you must be, like, 405 because you just assault someone while they're recording you. Think a little further. Here we have a lady who's currently got a restraining order put on her, so she can't go near this apartment complex, but has decided to use the mail person in order to get to look through the mail. Ma'am, you're no longer a resident here. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Sir, this lady's been barred from here. She, there's a protective order against her being here. Why is she being allowed to go to this mailbox? No, you're not allowed to record me. Yes, I am allowed to. No, you're not. Why, to why, me. why is she allowed to go to this mailbox? Which one is she? Uh, uh, 15. I think it's 15A or B. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a protective order against her being here. She's not supposed to be here. Is, is your, uh, your last name is Therpa, right? What's your last name? Therpa? No. no, it's no. Muhammad. Muhammad? Is her yeah. name on the yeah. box? Yeah. No, but there's a protective order against her yes, being sir. here. Uh, yeah. I never got any anything uh, about that. My name that. is but, still on, on. So, if she's no, allowed. I'm allowed no, no, she's not allowed to be here. She's not? Okay. No, I'm going to call. I'll call the police right now. I'm going to call 911. Interesting situation. If she does have mail in there, uh, I, 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 if I'm understanding the restraining orders correctly, she won't be able to get it herself. The person who also, like, is she? did she live in an apartment with someone else and they've got a restraining order against her and that's why she can't be there? Or is it just someone else in the actual complex has got a restraining order against her? Because if it's someone else, how does she get her mail? If it's the person that she might have been living with, then yeah, I can see why she can't get her mail right now. They have to do it for her, which is interesting to say the least. But I, I, I just find it funny how the mail guys go and they're like, oh, I didn't know. I've never got told this information. And we can assume, considering the clip ended there, the guy actually called 911 and the person got in a bit of trouble for disobeying the restraining order. This guy was casually enjoying himself at the complex's pool and gets interrupted by this funky Karen. You wanna be famous today? I got enough followers, we'll get you all over it. Since I'm Mr. Nobody and I'm homeless. Hi, my name is Peaches and your ugly ass uh, streamer Arizona. whatever said that he, he got a little ass head and a little ass dick, pink dick actually pink little ass dick and a pink little ass head and a pink little ass nose and a big ass mother Head, when like. we go over to the other side of the building, I'll show y'all which one she's in. I'll show you where the f you at with your ugly ass shoes. How the f your shoes so little? Cause you're little. You got a little dick, little body, little head. Wait, actually, big head. Make up your mind. Why the f you in our pool? You're homeless. Your mom's over there watching you. What mom? My mom's at work. You sound stupid as. Why the f are you recording me, you stupid ass bitch? I told you why. Why you acting Why? Because you're homeless in why our pool. I'm homeless. You're funny. Then why are you in our pool? Your pool. Are you just? Is this your way of flirting with people? Why you got a little ass body? Is this way? You, is this how you flirt with people? Flirt. Yeah. Uh, you look like. Look at the nails, though. You look like. You look like a whole bitch. Ain't nobody worried about you. Oh, if you 
Thing. What's your TikTok? I'll tag you. Yeah, what's your TikTok? It's peaches and cream. Baby. Peaches and cream? Oh, I got you back. You. What about your Instagram? Don't worry. You know you like me. Get the fuck out That's why I'm here talking to you. I'm trying to record you, girl. Oh, what happened? You don't like the camera now? I love the Get over here. Don't be shy. Oh, Throw that Instagram on here then. Have you seen that show, Precious? What happened? What's that? Why are you getting so quiet now? Bitch, what? What you want me to say? Nothing. I don't know. I, I thought you was flirting. I, I thought My you was little, flirting. Little body, little dick. What you well, you still think? lingering though, like a fart. Lingering? I live here. What the f you want me to do? Oh, okay. That's okay. Cute. Uh, okay. This is a good view. It is a good view. Look at that. Mm. A little sneak peek. No sneak peek. No sneak peek. A side leg? What the f is that? See, see, I knew we'd kick it off. Just say you like me, that's it. Just say you like me. I like you when you walk away and be quiet. Fair enough. Cool. When you're so far up your own ass that you believe someone else is falling for you after you annoy the hell out of them. Yep, makes 100% sense. <laughs> Man, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> just love how that entire thing just went in that, like, yeah, funky. Here we have a Walmart worker who's apparently not doing their job quite right because they seem to be knocking over pallets whilst moving them around and unloading them from the truck. At least that's what we gather from the driver of the truck. Let's watch the clip. It's your fault no, it's not because you're not right concentrating right. on your job. You need to keep your mouth shut. You know? Your supervisor. You, yeah, I don't you need no supervisor. You need to shut your mouth. Yeah, you okay, you need to shut your mother mouth. You don't talk to me like that, you know? I'm going to respect you right now. Really? But you don't talk to me like that. Okay. You need to shut your mouth. Okay. You know, I don't say shit to you. You need to do your job before you're knocking four pallets already. No, I haven't knocked four pallets. You did. Look at this. Look at this. You don't like That's to do. Look at this. Job. You did this shit. Who did this shit? You tell me to shut my mouth for what? Look at you, what you're doing. You knocked right. four pallets already. All right. You know, everything is recorded. That's Whatever you call me, you cuss me I for no reason. You. Because you're not doing your job. I'm doing my job. You know, I do this, I've do. i been doing this for a long time. Because I know what kind of person you is. You don't like okay. to do this job. Have somebody else to do it. All right. But I want to have the DC look at this video That's and fine. show what kind of person you is. That's fine. You know, Catherine. That's fine. You know, because you're assistant manager. That's you think fine. you're running some. You're not running. Do your job first right. Right. before you do anything. Okay. You know, I got everything recorded on tape. You call me to shut my mouth. You don't tell me to shut my mouth. All you understand right. that? Yeah. Catherine. All right. Okay, uh, Catherine. All right. Okay, do your job right. Please look. Four pallets you dropped already since you've been here. I mean, I, you know, I deal with a lot of receivers. Right. They do their business. They do their job right. right. You don't do your job. Right. You know, go find you somebody, some else to do. Right. And cussing me for no reason. Because I told you to do your job right before you start right. knocking shit down. All right. Keep going. I'm a, I, I got to record it. I got to record it. You cuss me before I cuss you. Remember, remember, it's on here. Okay, it's on here. I will. I, I promise you. I will take this. To the highest level. That's fine. What, Catherine? What, what's your What's your last name? What's your last name? Don't worry about that. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, but don't worry about it. You know. <laughs> I will t when I go back to the DC. I will promise you, I will get that to the highest level, That's fine. and they're gonna do something about it. Because receiver like you, they don't need to be working here. That's fine. Look! Look at this! Thing. Look at this! Look! You don't want to do your job right, you need to go find another job. Look, you got somebody else doing this job. I'm more willing to give her the benefit of the doubt here because I've actually seen this type of thing happen before, but there's either one of two things have happened here. Either A, the worker actually is just bad at driving pallets around and has accidentally knocked stuff over, or B, there's been a few items that have been placed on this pallet in a little bit of a weird way that any form of massive amount of motion or just slight knocking will just cause it to cave in and collapse. I've legitimately seen these before, even in like, in, in our, in Queensland, very recently, there's been one massive automated DC that was created where it's majority automated. And occasionally there will be this weird box that is just put in a very 
an interesting area that means that there's just a certain part where the support's a little bit weaker or sometimes they have a box on the bottom level of the power that can't quite hold the weight of the up of everything above it on the pallet so it leads to that box slowly caving in which then inevitably causes to either have the pallet slightly diagonal leaning or when it eventually gets moved it kind of starts to fall it depends on how tightly wrapped the the cling wrap is around it because sometimes it's wrapped up very tightly so it will lean a little bit but it won't ever actually collapse because well it's very tightly wrapped but the moment you rip the wrap or like start to split the wrap it'll start to just go everywhere it happens um I'm not 100% sure which one would happen. What do you think's happened in this situation? Do you think it's a bad pallet mover has knocked stuff over, or has it been some really poor stacking? It's very, uh, convenient that three of them seem to have fallen over in a row, though, so, yeah. Imagine walking into your local general dollar store, and it turns out there's two Kevins just having a fight right at the registers for some reason that it's not really easy to understand or explain. Well, that's the reality of this guy's clip. Hey, bro. No, I'm for not no crazy. Reason. If you want to see for crazy, no I'm be crazy. For no reason, bro. So like no I said, reason. I was standing right there. For I was no right reason, like bro. The young lady was right for over no here. For no reason, bro. Get your it's stuff. It's called social distancing. Get your stuff. You need to Get understand. Your Get your stuff, bro. Because you're sounding crazy. Get away from me. How about that? Get, Get away, away from you. Get away from you before I call the cops on you. Call the cops. Mm -hmm. call Don't try to play one with me. Call them. Don't try to play one with me. I'm a dead veteran. Call them. And? Call them. Am I supposed to care? Call them. Don't try to play one with me. I'm from PTSD, boy. I don't care. I'm from New Jersey. Call them, boy. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from New York. What that mean? That don't mean nothing to me. All right, then shut up with me. I'm from the hood. Don't try to play one with me. Go to go to Jersey City in New York. I know how it is on the street. Get your shit and go. Don't try to tell me what to do. Get away from me. Get your shit and go. Don't try to tell me what to do. Man, get your stuff and go. You get your stuff and get up out of here. Don't try to tell me what to do. I was here first. Man, shut up. I'm a wee bit lost in the source on this one. <laughs> I, I'm not 100% sure why they're arguing here. I, I tried to listen to the conversation and try to understand why this all started, but ultimately I can't really find or understand why this argument started in the first place. I mean, the argument started for some reason or another, and they're going on about this and that, and how one of them's a veteran, and how the other guy is from the hood, or something on those lines. It just don't make sense, but hey, uh... They're having a good argument over this. <laughs> Here we have a Karen who might have had her order put down wrong by a worker. I'm not 100% sure. That's what I can gather from this clip so far. Anyhow, now that because that's happening, she wants a full refund, then she wants some deductions and various other bits and pieces. Just watch the clip. You need to learn Are you the manager? Okay, this is not what I ordered. This lady took my shit down wrong and I'm wondering why it was so much, but I'm not looking at the thing, I'm trusting her because I'm high. But I ordered, I told her two junior bacon cheeseburgers, two orders of tacos, and one medium curly fries. This gave me two curly fries in a soda. I didn't have shit about no soda, this is not even a meal. I ordered from the, the Jack deal. Like, what part of it, and then she's gonna have an attitude like, what part of it don't you understand? I waited over 30 minutes. I've been waiting 30 minutes for this wrong. Okay. 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 I've been overcharged. She charged me 25. Seven eighteen, so that means that's they three sixty a piece. 
take that off, and then the medium coat. So that's six dollars. It's over six sixty. Mm -hmm. I need my shit back, bro. Stop playing with me. I didn't even order that shit. Got me over here. And I'm waiting for my Uber. Hurry up. I'm waiting thirty minutes. Look, he's stuck in my traffic right now. Yeah, but if he would have been my here, bitch, waited 30 minutes for some food. Bitch, I'll get you fired. And beat your ass outside this Why you looking like that? Don't get it twisted. I'm from the hood that you in right now. Did you beat the Have a nice day. Well, you have to charge your I don't care about that. Charge me. Run me back to deduct my change because that I got the, the, the those tacos was from the dollar menu. So I'm owed like three dollars. This is a very interesting one to say the least, mainly because I just look at this and go and like, surely the worker would have read out the order that she put down to you before you confirmed it. Usually that's what they do. I do know there are circumstances when they won't do that and you might get the order slightly wrong, I don't know. But usually they also give you a receipt and you should be able to read that immediately afterwards just to make sure everything was done correctly. And rather than trying to just have it fixed the normal way and just like, hey, I'm sorry, got the, the worker got the order order down wrong, I'm sorry, can we just fix it up and get the things that I'm actually chasing for? Instead you were straight into a very, I would say, aggressive anger state towards these people, swearing at them like a madman, and just being overall extremely upset when this could have been handled far more calmly, and you probably would have gotten what you were originally going to order, probably for free, if you were just nice and understanding, like I've genuinely seen that happen before, but instead you're just straight up aggressive about it, you're wanting a refund, then you want a deduction instead, then you want this, and then you want that. You can't even seem to make up your own mind on what you actually want out of this either. Like, you seem to be all over the place here. Make up your mind. Here we go to Karen who's going in for a daily dose of cigarettes, and it turns out the place she's going to does not have the cigarette type that she usually likes. So, uh, this happens. Oh my gosh. White people shit. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Don't hurt me. Now this is what it's like to chew five gums. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you're addicted, when this is your reaction to this type that you like being unavailable. My god. Hey, if you liked my amazing joke, maybe you should subscribe. <laughs> God. Here's your local Karen showing up at the gas station doing something incredibly stupid. When you have a bad day, smashing someone's car. <laughs> I can't take this serious. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but what? I okay. I have to take a moment to process this because the stupidity of this entire thing is just making my brain hurt. <laughs> but it's just like is it, okay, okay. Isn't there like a million cameras at your gas stations in America? I know there are in Australia, basically like, hey, uh, just so you know, you can't just come in, fill up gas and run away without actually paying for it. You're tracked for, you're like, 
the cameras watch you. Like, wouldn't there be cameras at this gas station too? Like, you, you're surely not going to be able to get away with this madness. Like, you, you, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is still trying to process that because that was just wow, wow. Just some people are wild. Here we have another employee who's accusing someone of stealing with no proper evidence to it, even. And it turns out, hey, they didn't steal. Whoa. The camera before you came to get me? We, well, we did, but I wanted so to. So, did wait you see me steal it? So, I did. You s oh, you, you did see me? Okay, let's go then. JLo, let's go. No, I'm just no. no I'm not, you just said you see me steal it, so let's I, go. I, I, no, no, you no. said yes. I got it on camera. Let's go. Oh. I'm like I didn't see you put it back. I just want to see where you put it for us. That's all. And then you had this man follow me in the store. So let's see how dumb you look. I'm a f nurse. You I'm think I'm gonna steal? You no, I'm an ER you. nurse. I just came in that store, so let's go. Steal a stash jar? Are you dumb? Are you f***ing dumb? Well, so, hold on, hold on. No, it's right here. Let's go. Are you f***ing dumb? Are you f***ing dumb? Are you f***ing dumb? Are you f***ing dumb? You didn't put it back. That's all you I'm saying. You said I stole it, though. I didn't you say dumb it. ass. Shut the f*** up. Words in my mouth. That's why you're on tape. So I'll be calling corporate. Shut the f*** up. Yeah, dumb ass. You're mad because I didn't steal. Idiot. Okay, here's a question. If you believe someone stole something, but you also know they no longer have the item that they supposedly stole, then why are you trying to confront them about supposedly stealing said item that they no longer have? Because it's just going to cause a lot of trouble, especially as we see in this instance. Oh, the item that they were accused of stealing is still in the store. It's still where it should be. And yet they're being accused of stealing it, even though it never actually left the store. It's like one of those things where, okay, if you know they have the item still and you can pr and they can't prove that they didn't steal it, then cool, you got something. But if you also know they don't have the item, that's when you should just end the situation there and move on with your day. If you know they no longer have the item and they didn't walk out of the store with it, that's where you just stop and move on. Apologize potentially and move on because that's that. They didn't walk out the item with, they didn't walk out the store with the item and you're assuming that they intended to steal it even though in this case they haven't. I get it. Some people do those exact same actions who are actually attempting to steal it, but because they never stole it, still shouldn't just be pushing them like this over it. Move on with your day. So as this person was trying to get their bag down off of the upper shelf um, on the airplane, they end up accidentally hitting someone else's daughter. And when the mother asks her to apologize in a slightly aggressive manner, she instead argue backs about it. If you're going to say sorry in the first place or apologize, then why didn't you just do it? Yeah, maybe the mother shouldn't have been a bit rude towards you, but let's be realistic here. You just accidentally hit her kid. No duh, the mother's going to be slightly upset. Heck, I'd be surprised if the mother wasn't upset. So maybe take a just accept the fact that, yep, I just hit a kid. Someone else's kid? That mother's not happy with me? I should just say sorry and move on with my life and not get in an argument with them? Because that is completely pointless and really, really dumb. Like... 
you don't come out of this looking like the good person you think you are. You just come out looking like an absolute asshole. <laughs> For some reason or another, this person decided to start recording in a bit of a public meeting. Whilst she doing that, a pair of people weren't exactly happy about that and decides to try and hit her and snatch her phone out of her hand and breaks it. Here's what happens. I have it on video. <laughs> We're in a public space. I hope you took the effort to potentially, I, I don't, like, push charges or something, I don't know. Uh, it's just a sucky situation. The police officer clearly isn't trying to figure out the problems properly and just seems to be just like, oh yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, and believe in the other person that's there, a part of that story. Uh, it sucks. Also, though, the other person could get in a bit of trouble for just directly lying when, well, the recording shows that that person's also right next to the Karen, and... <laughs> I don't know, it's just a bit of a sticky situation. It's very, very unfortunate, and hopefully you get your way. Here we got a Karen holding up a line because she's trying to get a bunch of details and stuff because apparently her order was done slightly wrong. Like just some big mess and she decides to hold up the entire drive through even though it's a broad daylight, she could probably go inside and deal with it a lot easier that way, but here we are. Ma'am, you, you, gotta, you gotta move this car. Just, you can gather that information, but you're holding up everybody else here. She doesn't want to give me the information. I know, but you just, you could get it from her. You gotta move uh, your car out of the way. She give it to me. She already had the rings. She want more stuff Whatever. for five dollars. Hey, can, can Whatever. you please it move your car? Dollars, in case you didn't know. And I didn't get a receipt. Yeah, yeah I know, but you're holding up Where's all this traffic. You can get all that. You Just get it. Walk out of the car. Her name so I can make the complaint properly. When I make what, what's, complaint, can you give her a name? Yeah, yes. Jessica. Jessica. There you and go. What's the other person's name? What's the other person's name? What's the other person's name? Just give her a name so she can move this car out of here. What's the other person's name? Chiquita. 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 Yeah. C H. How do you spell it? I mean, come on, you can figure it out. Chiquita. How do you spell it? You're you're you're, you're being very rude. How do you spell you're being absolutely rude. Being a, a you're being absolutely again. rude. How you're holding up all this traffic. That's all right. You are. The cops are coming. No, it's no. not all right. See, move your car. Right. God, just. I don't get these type of people. Okay, maybe this clip was something recorded in like 2020 and it recently has been circulating around. But even then, it's just like, I don't get, okay, A, if this Karen was just supposedly after the names of the employees and the employees just refused to give them their names, even though the Karen's clearly refusing to leave, I don't know why they didn't either give them fake names that didn't match anything, or B, just give them their names so this person can hurry up and get out of the drive-thru, because isn't it like one of those things where you want to get people through a drive-thru as quick as you can because you don't want people waiting there forever for their meals, because, you know, it's meant to be a convenient way to go through? I don't know, it just seems like... The Karen is just a complete ass, and the employees are. I, I'm a, not 100% sure if they're doing the right thing in the situation, at least to try and get rid of the Karen quicker. I don't know, but still stupid. So here we have a lady who's going to the bank to make some form of transaction. And apparently at some point, either the passport had their name misspelled with an additional R, or the name that was put into the bank system had a, was missing the letter R one of the additional times it was appearing in the passport. And because the passport was new, the uh, bank decided to call the police on her because they assumed that she is trying to commit some form of fraud with some fake passport. That's, that's good. 
Did you guys call the police on me? <laughs> you called the police on me? For, we'll, for what? I'll we'll speak to you in a second, okay? Do you want to just go with one officer? Here, just come with me. <laughs> yeah, just come this way. <laughs> on me for the first time in my life. <laughs> it's not a gay. It's not a gay. Why didn't they come and talk to me and ask me a question calling the police on me? Why? I'm not sure I wasn't here, right? Okay, so ask your, ask we're your we're question. Here, we're just here to make sure that everything What is your name? Yeah, you, Miss Hugh, what's your name? Yeah. Right here. Madame. He's not coming and he's coming and he's coming and he's coming and he's Okay, so I guess there's two R's in your name, but they only had one, so they were concerned about that. Okay, we understand that that could, that's a common mistake. People could easily make a mistake, or they could have made a mistake. So essentially, what we're looking into now is the passport. So it looks to me, it looks like a brand new one. So essentially, all we're doing is confirming that it's not a forged passport. Once we get that confirmed that it's not, you're going to be on your way. Okay? <laughs> a forced so, passport. And I, I understand that you're uh, you're upset with everything that happened. If you don't want to use that bank anymore, that's up to you. You can do what you want with that. Okay? Do you have any questions? Can I have my passport back and my IDs and stuff? Yeah, yeah. we're going to get that back as long as everything checks out. Okay, so we're just making sure everything's uh, legit, and then you're gonna be on your way. You can have all your stuff back. Okay. Man, wow, that's God. That'd be a horrible experience to deal with. It's like, we. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's I'm not 100% sure how to really approach this one if like from what I can gather from the clip It seems to be a case where the spelling of that person's name It was either it was misspelled in the bank system or misspelled on the passport One of the two most likely in the bank system and because it didn't quite line up it was assumed that it was a fake of some sorts which Jeez, that's just... Don't they have a better form of verification system on to make sure certain passports are real or not? Or do they always have to call the police for this type of thing? Because this can cause, could cause so many issues. And I hope that the whoever the bank teller was uh, got a... Ha, I've made some form of way to appeal for this mess because, yeah, that's... Wow. Here we have a very drunk uh, parking driving manager guy who was uh, not letting these people out without trying to charge them extra for apparently staying two minutes over the time limit for the for the seventy five cents point, even though they actually haven't. I have the ticket. Yeah. It says twelve o two. I know, I know. That's why I say you got here. You don't need a video ticket. It's okay. Yep. You know, just for the sake of this, I mean, honestly, so. If you're here between zero minutes to thirty minutes, it's seventy five cents. We were not. We weren't. We were here for twen yeah. 28. This is what I want, want you to put. You, did you videotape, man? Because I know you got a camera. What are you asking right I'm now? Gonna, I'm asking because apparently she needs to videotape. Me. Don't worry don't, about the videotape. Because you guys are on video too. So it's okay. okay. Are you drunk right no, now? What I'm saying is. 100%. This. You, can I see that ticket? You seem two. impaired, Can I see sir. that ticket? And then what? 1202, we okay. got here at, we got here at 1202. I understand we, that Listen yeah. to me. I am. Then we are checking out wow. at 1230. Sir, that is 28 minutes. I understand. Zero okay. to 30 so, minutes is we, 75 and cents. And we, and we Why is this okay, rocket want, science no, to you? it's not rocket science. I can do math. But what I, do you understand what I'm Th 30 minus, 30 no, minus no, no, 28. I know that. You don't have to do that. What I'm saying, do you understand my side? No! no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because you I'm not saying you're not listening to me, but can I can I say my point? Yeah. I'm sure. All right, without We were quiet, here please. at twelve oh two. I'm I'm yeah, saying I'm it for the video. This dude is super drunk. Uh, yeah, patient. sir, you are this is what I'm telling you. 1202. 1202. That's when you got in there. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. So, and then we, we pulled up what here at 1229. Yes, yes, yes. What I do 
is I put that same time. All right, let's call an officer. You can call an officer. It's or fine. something, just something. Yeah, you because said we're on I video say, right now. That I shows say. us right there what time we pulled up to this what, window. No. I'm just trying to tell you my side. Just open what the gate. What is your side, dude? Let us out of here. I, I will, I'll let you out. Thank you. It's not a Thank you. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Genuine what in the world? <laughs> I really don't get what this guy's trying to get out of here. Like, I genuinely believe he is probably drunk or high. Maybe a mixture of both. He's just come to work and is now just causing a mess because, well, he's not exactly uh, able to think correctly here. But clearly, from what the people are saying, they got it there at like 12.02. That's probably the time on the ticket. And currently, it's 12.28, meaning that, yeah, it's not even been 30 minutes yet. They're still under the 30 minutes limit, so they can leave. It's not that much of a problem. Like, ah, uh, man. I'm so glad that most parking garages here have become more automated. It's like, oh, yeah, there's a thing at the door. It will scan your your license plate and then you let you in and then on your way out you just go to a machine you type in your license plate it will it will gather how long you've been in there you pay for it and then that's it that's it's done there's no person who's going to be a complete ass hat about it it's all just a very simple thing that won't cause too many problems like it's probably the one one of those things that i'm glad is automated because we can get around people who are just ass hats Short clip here where a DoorDash driver makes a delivery and gets no tip and is not really happy about it. Hi, it's saying zero for the tip. Was there a cash tip? I'm going to be 100% honest, from an outsider looking in from someone who lives in Australia where tipping culture isn't exactly a thing. Like, we have DoorDash and Uber Eats here, you can tip, but it's like one of those things that doesn't really happen that often, and ultimately people aren't exactly that upset when they don't get a tip. It's just one of those questions, like, I think it's weird to always expect a tip, like, every time. It's one of those things, like, just make it a part of the normal price of the actual product itself. Stop forcing me to put an extra bit of money on after I've already made the calculations to go, oh, this is how much it's going to cost me. But at the same time, if I'm getting fast food, I will make the trip out myself and drive there myself. So, yeah. I ultimately wish that uh, most people would get paid via their main wage, a livable actual wage, not have to rely on tips, but... That's clearly not how it's going to go in America at this point in time. So for those of you who do live in America, what are your thoughts on tips? Genuinely. This pair of Karens have got a new fridge delivered to them, but it turns out that, oh wait, they don't have any way to actually take this inside. So when they need help, what do you think they do? Yes, they take the approach of lying down in front of the person's tires who just dropped off the fridge, expecting that would help. Look at this crazy shit, man. Like, like, for real, bro. She want me to hit her. No, I just want you to put the refrigerator in the house. We can't lift that thing. We don't even have a dolly. I don't know what you're thinking. Clearly not with your head. You're thinking with your body because you put your body in front of the tire hoping it'll stop the guy from moving anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a weird way to do this. We don't have a dolly. We don't have any way to actually lift this. You could have, like, maybe asked them nicely. Maybe offered my, like, hey, if you could help us put it in the position, I'll pay you X money extra. Or just do something that isn't just forcing the guy to stay there because you're putting your life on the line. Genuinely speaking, a dumb decision. Hey, we've got a Karen who's extremely upset because her coupon no longer functions, mainly because it's expired or they no longer accept these coupons anymore, most likely because the coupon expired. Anyway, they decided to get the manager out and they were hyper aggressive against these people, so one of them decided to start recording and here's what happens. Please. Can you please just calm down? Stop. Matt, please. Please. You know what? Please. You don't knock and disrespect me. Nobody disrespects me. I got your employer you recording me. For what? Go ahead and record me. You came out. You don't even know what you're even talking about. You're right here. This lady's coming in. I'm trying to resolve. She's got an attitude. What are you trying to resolve that you weren't here for? 
you please I'm just go? I'm not going to have your employee recording me. I'm actually calling Can the you police. Can you please just go? No. Nope. Call the police. You want to have your employee record me? Because you're being a little ridiculous. I was trying to resolve the situation and you just gave me an attitude straight off the bat, so. I don't even know who you are. Get out, boy. You know what? Miss. I don't care. I asked Miss. for a manager. Okay. And that's all I asked for. Miss, how Get old old boy. Okay. Not your none of your business. I think you're old enough Keep to be. I promise you. Walk away. When the cops come, if you really call the cops, like. I didn't call them myself. I got it. Mm. I think so. Right. We like to call ourselves, too. We're both tired of you. Okay. okay? All right. I didn't give you an attitude, so. I asked for manager, so. it's a number, it's all I asked for. I'm okay, the manager is right you here, bro. You're acting like you're fucking 15 years old. Okay, okay get out, boy. Over what? Over receipt? I asked for the manager's number, it's all I asked I for. I was going to give it to you. I and you now I'm being recorded you know, by a ghetto-ass prick. Please go in the back. I will. Okay. Can okay. we just, can we talk outside? Not a baby. This is my, it's actually my right, so I work here, so this is my right to record. Okay, and I'm gonna I know record. my right, I'm back, please. I get a can no problem. Can you talk outside, please? No problem. Sorry, bro, we got a Karen here. I don't know what to say. Miss, yeah. I don't know what the problem is, but if it's over $3, this is a little ridiculous. This has nothing to do with $3. Well, There's nothing to do with him. He wasn't even out here. I was trying to resolve the morning. situation, but... Resolve what? What are you trying to resolve? You're the Who's one talking to me crazy. I, I, I'm actually Who's not even talking to you. you resolve coming out here the way you are? Talking me saying, get out of here. I didn't even say that to you at all. I did. Crazy, yo. I assume that calling someone a ghetto boy is a potential racist thing type deal. I don't know. But still, it's just kind of wild. This is how your reaction is to just a coupon no longer functioning. I mean, I'm sure you could read the coupon itself and it would have an expiry date right there to tell you that, hey, it no longer functions. I mean, yeah, it's annoying. You had this coupon that could get you a nice deal, but unfortunately, because you took too long to use it, it no longer works. And that's sad. But this is not how you treat people in any way, shape or reason like it's really ridiculous this is how you react when a coupon no longer functions it's not the end of the world lady it really isn't just move on with your life here we go to Karen who's extremely upset about something that occurred through the drive-thru for some reason or another. Anyway, she's holding up the line by arguing with one of the drive-thru workers and the person behind her decides to start recording her and then pokes fun at her. You're holding up the line there Karen! Shut the f up you Bitch, record me all you want to before I spit on you. Oh no, Karen! Is that saliva out your mouth there, Karen? <laughs> I'm automatically a Karen because I walked up the No, line. Karen, you're holding up the line. I need my mint chicken and my McNuggets. Get out the line there, Karen. <laughs> I'm gonna need my mint chicken, my fries, and my drink. Get out the way there, Karen. Shut up, you fat bitch. Oh shit, stop that, Karen. I need my food to get more fatter, Karen. Watch out the way there, Karen! No, Karen, you're holding up the line there, Karen! Yeah, get out of here now, Karen! Thank you very much there, for it on! You're the f***ing Karen in my business, you stupid bitch! For it on with those gun fingers there, Karen! Alright, Karen! Man, I just love people like this, it's just like, oh yeah, oh my god, it's a Karen, let me just... Poke, poke the bear. Let's see how hard I can poke the bear without it killing me, basically. <laughs> oh man, she goes off her head. She's obviously had a bad day of something or ate something horrible. Like something's not going her way right now. And this person just poking her is peeving her right off. She's going right up aisle nine with that anger. <laughs> Here we've got a Karen who doesn't understand the concept of you can only use a single coupon per purchase and so is trying to insist on getting a cookie for free using one coupon which is already making use of another coupon to get her meal for a slightly cheaper price. And even though the worker points out an easy way that she can do to get both coupons now, she just still wants to do it her way. Well, I can give you the number to our manager. That's about well, don't give me the cookie, but I'm gonna, I, okay, I can call there and tell them to make sure they give a cookie if it says free cookie in the coupon. You don't have to give it to you if you don't want to, it's just chocolate chip. It doesn't say a specific day or a specific time. Wait, so, yeah, but it says one coupon, one coupon, one coupon per customer, right? Free cookie with that. He purchased oh one chocolate chip. Yeah, so we can't give it to you with, with this purchase, but if you want to come back It's on the coupon! Okay, look, I'm sorry, ma'am, you know but like... Do you know what? I will buy her cookie. Okay? You can put well, it Well, did you want me to buy it? Okay. I don't know. I will, it doesn't I will make buy sense, her but cookie. it's a coupon. I'll buy her cookie. 
Okay. You can I was just trying to explain to you what it was. Okay. okay. So I can I have a hand? Put her hand. No fucking hand on. Oh, what the hell's wrong with you? Come on, we got children here. That's all right. I'll take the sandwich. Thank you. No, you cannot take the sandwich if you didn't pay for it. Okay. Why are you sitting there then? Then let the cookie go. Go. Just go bring her. Charge me. I got a coupon for this though. You okay. gotta take that one. Sorry guys, I'll do it in a moment. All right. Um, is she just so desperately stubborn that she has to go through it her way? She has to use both coupons in this single transaction. She doesn't have to use any additional effort to actually make a purchase for this cookie. Even though not only did someone offer just to straight up buy the cookie for her to move on with her day, but also the worker told her a way to deal with this. Just like, hey, uh, make this purchase, go back to the end of the line, come through again, buy the cookie, use your coupon there. Ha, problem solved. Like, he literally pointed out the exact way to make use of two separate coupons. I do query why you didn't just make two, why you didn't complete the current purchase and start a new purchase and just have the cookie go through on that one for a new coupon if that's really what you're going to do. But at the end of the day, I guess I can understand that you've got to do things a certain way to make it so that you don't get in trouble too much. But still, funny nevertheless, the stubborn behavior behind this person. Here we have a Kevin and a Karen who's made an order at a McDonald's and has not gotten their tartar sauce they requested to have with the order when they got their order. So rather than go up to the counter and ask for, hey, uh, we didn't get our sauce, can we get our two tartar sauce, please? They uh, start going off at who they assume to have been a minimum wage worker. Excuse me. 712. I ordered two sides of tartar sauce. Okay, what's what I said? One we ordered two sides of tartar sauce and a sauce, so. I'm off the other side. Okay. You'll have to Let the grown man earn his minimum wage, Scott. Fuck the time. I made more than I make. Say. Fuck you. Scott, how much do you make? How much do you make? I make 45 bucks an hour. I'm going to have you escorted from the store. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Don't come back to my store. Your store? Don't come back to my store. Get out of here. 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 Get out Jeez, man, just why are people like this? Just say, like, oh yeah, I'm not getting what I want immediately. We're gonna be aggressive towards them, and then we're gonna brag about the fact that I make thirty-five dollars an hour. Yeah, cool, mate. Cool, absolutely amazing, man got to praise your wage. Whoa, wait a minute. You're talking to the guy who is the owner of this franchise of this like store area that he's the current head honcho of this store. Uh-oh, I think he might be making more per hour than you. Based upon an article from the start of this year, it's estimated that on average, a franchise owner will make a profit of $150,000 per year. That's the money that they get for themselves. So let's say we assume they work an average 38 hourly week. We convert that by the year, that's an average hourly rate of 75 US dollars. Buddy, 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 here you are bragging about your money, but then here's this the owner over here who could brag far more about his money if he so choose to. But he doesn't because he isn't a f***ing asshole like you. For some reason or another, this Karen ended up talking to this police officer here and ends up in a bit of an argument with them. Don't come over here and get up in my face and try to get confrontational with me. Okay? We'll so why don't you turn around and go back where you came from? Oh, I'm right here. Well, I don't like you right here it's and right. I didn't ask you to come over here. So is there anything else you needed? No. Then turn around and go about your way. I'm not going to turn around and go away. Well, I guess I neither am I then. You want to have an argument? We'll have an argument. Am I being ridiculous? No, I think you were being ridiculous, and now you're getting your ass called out. So now you want to keep going. You don't know when to shut the fuck up. I simply asked you if I had a problem with And I told you what my fucking problem was. You want to keep going? Because I can have a long list of fucking problems. Again, I told you where you can take it up. And I told you where you can fucking go. I'm really curious on how they got here in the first place. Did they call the police for some other reason? Or maybe potentially they uh, uh, were annoying to someone else and someone called the police on them? I don't know. This is a very curious one, to say the least. Oh, well, I guess we don't have much answer to this one. 
Here we have a couple checking into a hotel, finding out they need to provide some form of ID as well as make some form of deposit in case anything goes wrong, and they decide to refuse to do so and decide to cause a bunch of drama instead. All because she didn't want to provide any form of ID and pay the deposit. He is just doing his job. She didn't like the answer to her questions. That's the typical Karen playbook right there. I mean, if we had a book that told us everything a Karen would do in any form of given confrontation, this would be one of those things right here. Get angry, scream at the person, and walk away when you've lost instead of accepting defeat. Hmm, interesting. Sounds about right. And also, I... No duh, they're gonna want some form of ID because they want to know exactly who you are because, you know, A, you would have booked the hotel underneath at least your name or your partner's name or maybe someone else's name and they want to know that, hey, it's the person who did the actual reservation is coming to the hotel. B, they want you to make some form of deposit. It's, like, it's just basically a little bit of a safety thing in case you do cause some massive damage in the room that you're staying in, they have some form of backup. Nine times out of ten, this money will be given back to you at the end of your stay because, you know, you won't do anything stupid, right? He went to Kevin going for the manager because apparently these workers are not being professional enough towards him. Please, and I'm asking nice. <laughs> I just want to speak with the manager, please. I would like to speak with the store manager, please. The assistant store manager, please. Could you call him for me, please? I'm in Pickney Wiggly Holland Avenue. Asking very nicely to speak with a manager, but they won't let me speak with one. I want to speak with the manager, please. I'm saying it nice. I'm not cursing, I'm not being belligerent. I'm just asking nicely to speak with the manager, please. Because it shouldn't even be this. You should, I'm paying my money, I should get what I want. Period. I'm to give you what you want. Well, why I gotta go through all this trauma to get it? Okay, I wanna speak to the manager, please. Again, please. What's your name? Sherry. Sherry, okay. When I watch this clip, I see a guy who is just being very aggressive towards a batch of workers trying to get their manager or someone along those lines. And the workers are just like, we don't give a damn about what you think here. We told you where our manager is, well, the manager that's currently in store. We want to continue to do our work. Like, <laughs> like I don't know why I said, like, all I want to do is talk to the manager. You're just not giving me what I want. I'm the customer here. I'm paying. I want what I want. It's like, okay. They pointed out where the manager is if you want to go talk to them. Like, okay, yeah, supposedly the employees could probably go grab the manager's attention themselves in reality. That's what they should be doing in the situation. But at the same time, when it's a customer like this guy who's just been a bit of an annoyance, like, yeah, I can see why what's happening is happening. Still a bit funny, though. Here we have a pair of Karens fighting with a, ho fighting with a hostess on a plane. Our first time flying Spirit, and this happened. Yeah. <laughs> 
From the sounds of the announcement at the end of that clip, it turns out they're at the end of the flight. Like, you couldn't have just waited, like, the five to ten minutes it takes to get off the plane and then move on with your day. You just had to go off at the flight host there just for some forsaken reason. Like, you couldn't have just hold on a moment. Like, there's potentiality that there might have been some racist interaction there. I'm not 100% sure because it gets a bit heated when the ca when those two women who are sitting down start responding very aggressively. I'm not 100% sure, but it's still one of those things. You're literally at the end of the flight. Why do you need to be like this now? It's like, it's, it's, you could have just moved on, not worried about it. You're about to get off the plane anyway and probably never see this person again. Here we got a pair of Kevins attempting to buy alcohol from a store. Because of events from a little bit prior, one of the two don't have any form of ID to prove that they are of age to be able to drink alcohol, so the worker is refusing to sell it to them. There's an owner. Because I had it's nothing... I you're telling me that anything. you're not going to sell me something because of somebody outside that I don't have no idea who because that is. both came in. I, asked I him came that. in before him. Okay, you guys are together. I ran in. Are you guys together? I ran in. Are you guys together? together? Guys together? What do you mean? We're in the same vehicle. Okay. You I ran together. in. I never spoke to nobody. He went to, to go shopping for someone. I said that I need that I person. I went straight from my bottle and okay. I didn't speak to nobody. You are not listening to what I'm saying. But you said I went shopping for someone. He's not. Yeah, but since That's you what I'm saying. Together, I don't even know what the hell I was cannot. going on. Since you both came together, I can't sell to either of you. But I'm, you're not selling to him. You're selling to me. I am a yes, grown ass man. Yes, but you are with him. That's the thing. Everybody but, needs to be. Ma'am, this is. Okay. Okay. I don't care. I mean, that makes complete sense, like, I, yep, yeah, that, uh, there's nothing really wrong with that, because in this case here, she knows that they both came in the same vehicle, pro just a few moments ago, the other guy attempted to buy some alcohol, I'm guessing is what the story is going like here, he didn't want to show his ID for some reason or another, and so when the other guy comes in to buy alcohol, she's just refusing until the other guy is willing to show his ID, because she's under suspicions that this person is trying to buy alcohol for the other guy who was attempting to buy alcohol before, but because he couldn't, but because he needed to show his ID, he didn't end up actually buying it. So they have a right to refuse this because, you know, they are liable for massive fines if they give, if they allow people who are underage to buy alcohol or obtain alcohol from their store and uh, many, many other things along those lines. I also like the additional bonus of them grabbing the bottle and running right before they cut the clip short. Like, that's a smart idea from you guys, isn't it? Can't commit one crime? Let's commit a different one instead. Here we got someone who was going into the gas station to grab some more alcohol after just getting into a car accident. So why are you trying to buy more alcohol after you done hit my car? Can you not stop her reason a four car accident outside your thing? You can't drink that in here. She just started. Lady. She just literally just had a four car accident outside your establishment. Lady. The cops are outside already. You see right. them right there. We just—he just hit my car. Go get him and come She come just again. hit my car. Literally, it's a no, four-car hey, accident. Let it's let a four-car accident. Let my arm go. What the fuck? It's literally an accident outside. Be back. 
You see that cop bounce out right here? Yeah. She just hit. She just hit her car. The she red car. This is what we call the alpha form of the Chad Karen. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. This is not a kind. Okay. I try to make like serious stuff like this a little bit more lighthearted by making stupid jokes, but in reality, this is someone who is clearly drunk, who's gone driving and has now caused an accident. Th no matter how you break it down, it's just bad. The fact that this person is unable to take responsibility for themselves in any way, shape, or form to the point where they were driving when clearly heavily intoxicated, and then are refusing to take any form of responsibility for their actions is stumbling all over the place because of how absolutely smashed they are. It's depressing because these are the type of people that kill thousands hundreds of thousands of people around the world a year because they drink way too much and decide it's a bright idea to drive their vehicle home and well from the sounds of it this incident didn't have anyone dying just a bunch of car crashes but still it's not fun here have a bunch of angry Karen and Kevin neighbors who are going off of this couple here because they don't believe they actually live here here's what happens so, yeah. Okay, so I work. We at... live here. Okay. okay. It's so. Why are you ready? Fucking... Hey, 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 hey. Okay, call the, the okay. call the police. Okay, I call the police. You push me. You push me. I work here. Help help no, 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 no. I work here. Okay. Can okay. you stay back? Stay back, please. Yeah, please yeah. stay back. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Okay. Stay calm. Yeah. Okay. Llama the police and give me. No, 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 no. Look at her, she's Please stop filming. No, 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 no. Mom, yeah, No, no. No, no. Yes. Mom, mom, stop that. Mom, call the police now if you want to out. Please, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as nobody got hit. The only reason why, like, she, we stopped here because obviously we stopped for her because this is where we work. But you didn't have to stop right here. You could have just went home. No, we stopped right next to her. No, we do. Because we do we have to stop out here. We live here. It's not private no. street, so we no. have to know who's coming in here. Listen, listen. If you, we have to find out what business. If simply say you're here to work, then come here to work. Yeah, that's the thing. Why are you filming this? No, it's very annoying that you're filming no. this. Okay. I do not give consent to you no, filming this at all. No, 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 no. I say, please stop. Hey, hey, you just clicked me. You just you got to go home. You are going to have to so base this is how I'm interpreting this entire situation. The the couple, the people who are recording, come into this area to do some work. They also potentially live in the area. This other group who are very loud and angry have come in to go, what are you doing here? You don't live here, blah 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 blah, things along those lines, and this has ended up in this situation here, where people are just far too aggressive for their own like, they're just way too aggressive for your own ability to contain yourself. Especially considering if you believe it. No, I don't consent you recording me. Oh, no, 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 just starting screaming at the top of your lungs with that type of madness. My guy, if you're in the US, then you're in an area that is in the open that is viewable via the 
via what is considered public areas, you can be recorded and there's nothing you can do about it. It does lead to some really weird things like people perving on girls and all that stuff out in a public place, but there is ultimately not particularly much one can do about that unless they do it to the same person consistently. But in this situation, they're allowed to record you. You're out in a public space. Like, there's not much you can do about that and getting extremely angry and getting up in the person's face who's recording you is not going to help your situation in any way shape or form here we got a fun karen holding a car park spot with their body rather than a vehicle let's see who's gonna be uh says he was gonna have to walk a sham right now so i got this lady right here i've only seen this on videos on youtube and tiktok and this lady really saving a spot in the street. Here she is. Hey, well, let's um, see. Let's see who has TikTok more patience right here. Uh, threatening to post me on TikTok for holding your spot for me while you take a block because I'm sure he's a law-abiding citizen in every other aspect of his life. Oh, you're gonna get so so viral for this, man. I guess that's your life achievement. Congratulations. That's what society's become. He's like, I'm gonna put you on viral TikTok because you're saving a spot for your friend. Well, that's unfortunate that your friend's gone around the block and done something. It really is unfortunate. Unfortunately, you're not a vehicle. You can't save a spot for another vehicle with your own body. In this situation, you just have to let them park because, uh, they got here before your friend came back from their lap around the block and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. Time to move on. Here we've got a character who attempts to pick a fight with another family at the local pool because they don't believe they live in this neighborhood. Pull away because I wasn't filming you. But it's I I wasn't my filming you. Okay, we're in the public pool. We live here. You want to sit here and film me with your no, camera right now? Where else would you give me That's the dumbest. It's you guys good. are in our neighborhood. You okay, literally, no this is our game. neighborhood right, too. Don't. Okay. Okay. Don't. You have a tripod posted in a public pool. That's beyond. Okay. Do not me. Don't sit there and film me with your stupid. And then this is where I'm gonna insert where the tripod is. I don't give a shit. I want to know where you live at. That's fine. Where you live at? I'm not telling you. Get her away from my stuff before I hear her again. Get her away from my. I'm trying to get y'all back. Can you please? Nyla, call the cops. Nyla, call the cops. Nyla, call the cops. Cause this bitch is drunk at the pool or on some type of. You just hit him. Wait, stop, babe. No, you can't. Please go. All the yeah, please, this bitch is go. crazy. All the messing y'all, please go. Get your wife. Get your wife. Please, I'm telling you, that's what please, I'm telling you. We've been asking you to stop. We've been asking you to stop. I don't know. I'm getting trying to. Is she drunk at the pool with her own kids? Is she drunk? I don't know. I can't make this up. Is she drunk? Can you relax, Nyla? Watch this. I am. Get the fuck off me. Girl, yes, they deleted my video and said it went against community guidelines for bullying and harassment, but I was bullied and harassed in the video. So I'm about to repost it in the same video, but I want TikTok to see and hear me. I am not harassing. I am not bullying no one. I cannot control what people comment underneath. This video is just for my story time purposes. Don't condone violence. I don't condone bullying, harassment, all that good just. So please don't take this video down. Please. And we came to the We're not telling you. We're not telling you. We're not telling you where we live at. So get the kids in the car so you can leave us up. Okay. I'm trying to. You keep talking to me. I'm not 100% sure how much I'm going to actually censor of this clip depending on how YouTube filters it whenever I go to attempt to up upload this but just in depending on what is taken basically in the final clip there she 
a little attempt to push the person recording over, knock her phone out of her hand into the pool and other things along those lines, fails miserably and almost causes a massive fight between multiple other people that are also there trying to not let this confrontation go any further than what it already has. And my ultimate question is, why are you getting so worked up over this? Like, why is it that much of an issue to you that you have to attempt to cause a fight with someone over it? I get it. If people don't live in the area and they use in the pool that is given to the people who live in the area it is a very annoying and frustrating problem but at the same time auto assuming people that you don't think live in the area because either they don't look like they fit in or they don't seem like they are well off enough to be able to live in such an area is just the worst thing to do and all you need to do is like ask questions like oh do you live in the hey so you live in the area too eh so yeah, and then move on. That there's no need to turn into anything along the lines that happened in this clip here because it is completely unnecessary. Like I, I hope that the people recording in this clip actually took this to the police, potentially attempted to get some form of trial. I don't know. I don't know if it would even be worth the time and effort, but it's just like people like this shouldn't they need to at least learn something, learn a lesson at some point about being like this. So this guy was staying in an Airbnb, right? And apparently the Airbnb villa that he was staying at got robbed. But, you know, the funny thing about this is that nothing that is owned by the owners of the Airbnb was stolen. In fact, the only stuff that was actually stolen was stuff that the guest, the guy recording, had brought into the Airbnb for his short stay here. None of the electronics, the TVs, or the bits and pieces that are around the place, like the expensive clothing, jewelry, and all that, that's all left where it normally would be, but all of this guy's stuff is now gone. Trust me, man, when you're booking your Airbnbs, you know? I'm telling you, these people rob, man. Look, look how they're moving. I right, bearing in mind, bearing in mind, we rented their villa. This is their villa, and all of our stuff's gone. No TVs are gone. Bruv, shut up, I can't understand you. Shut up, bro. Imagine, no TVs are gone, no nothing valuable in the flat's gone, but every, everything in my suitcase is gone. My Louis are gone, my fucking LV bag with my passport in it's gone. Bear with the man, them's goods are gone. How does that make sense? Man's asked them to see the camera. When we left, the camera was facing outwards. When we've come back, the camera's facing the other way. So these people are in on it. You lot mind when you come to France, bro. These people are renting Airbnbs and they're trying to jerk, man, bro. Man's been up all night, ain't had no sleep. You lot don't even understand what man want to do to these people. But you know when you're trying to chase a bet. So look, they leave my Air Forces, but they take my Louis. Where's my Louis gone? Where's my Louis bag? Nowhere to be seen. Look, they leave certain clothes, but they take the valuable ones. This is their clothes. All of the clothes are still in the wardrobe. Does that make sense? There's a whole f TV in here. Why has not the TV gone if it was a robbery? My Prada jacket's still here because they didn't see it. There was another suitcase here that didn't get touched. Like, they've jerked my broskies, trackies, all my broskies, Dior's. Like, trust me, bro, France is dark. I was actually big in Paris up and France up, bro. Man's literally got robbed. Like, man's got, that's, that's a robbery. A man can't even do nothing how man want to do nothing, fam. It's peak. Like, man's actually been robbed. Jeez, that's just a very horrible situation to find yourself in. Because clearly you're not in your usual country that you live in, and now your passport's been stolen, as well as a bunch of your other stuff has been stolen. I would actually attempt to report this to the police. Especially if the owners of the Airbnb haven't actually bothered to do it themselves. Like, I'm sure you can call up saying, hey, there's been a robbery at the place that I'm staying at here in the country, yada, 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 and go through with that, and then explain to them, like, what's exactly happened, how all their stuff has disappeared, but none of the belongings of the people who actually own the Airbnb, Airbnb has actually been taken, as well as the camera that was actually watching over the entire area has deliberately been moved to point in a different direction. Ultimately, like, this really points very, 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 very heavily at the uh, people running the Airbnb for being responsible for this guy's stuff being robbed. Like, there's no other reason why all of his stuff would be robbed, but their stuff would not be touched. 
and the camera would be moved because it might have been hidden in an area where you wouldn't usually see it too easily but now for some reason it's moved probably because these guys took part in the re robbery of this guy's stuff which is just a horrible thing to do I hope not only they got pulled off Airbnb, I hope they also get charged for attempting attempted robbery here and whatever else that they can throw. Throw the book at these people. Get them in a lot of trouble. Do it. So here we go to Karen who was doing cartwheels and playing around with a bunch of kids prior to the flight or on the plane. I'm not 100% sure because it's not made clear when in the timeline this was happening while she was also drinking alcohol. Ultimately, she would get kicked off of this flight because his, she looks intoxicated according to the flight attendant. Here's the clip. No, you can walk away. You cannot come on this aircraft. You are shaking and I can see it. And because you guys are jeopardizing the safety of this aircraft right now. Okay. So I'm threatened by both of you. Well, that's unfortunate. That's Let's good. go. The I'm sheriff's here. department is on Now you hear from my home. I told you, I didn't want this thing to get escalated, but you wanted to know. No, you want to have an I want a sobriety test. I am sober. I work with children. I've been doing cartwheels and okay. back then. You need to get out of here. You do. Otherwise, I'm going to close so you the are recording, right? It's not going to help you. The recording, you, the recording is not going to help you. are wasting the no, situation. No, recording will help. Okay. You, you, are, you are wasting the What behavior did you see? You cannot step any closer to me. I'm not. I stepped to the side. What behavior did if you, you see If you step any closer to me, I will take my gun out and shoot you. We're going to have problems. I'm not stepping closer. What behavior of mine did you see? What behavior did I see? Yeah. You are flipping all over the ground. You, you're engaging, you're loud, you want attention from everybody. All, all of us, you're, the whole entire crew saw it. All of us are in agreement that you Putting cannot Putting on the ground, you mean the cartwheels I was doing with the children that I met on the flight? As I was watching you drink your alcohol. Like I said, and, and I you, did have one glass of wine. Right, and so because you've admitted it, I'm not going to allow you to come on this aircraft today. So anybody that's had one glass cannot get onto this No, line. anybody who's exhibiting behaviors of being intoxicated is not allowed to come onto an aircraft. Do and I seem intoxicated to you right now? Yeah, you do. Because you aren't following any sort of instruction that any of us are asking you to do. Because I have kids at home that I'm waiting to get back to. Well, that's unfortunate. It is. It is. Because you should have been behaving yourself up in the, the, and you should have been behaving yourself here. You should have been listening to him. So that's. No, the, no, you made your decision before we walked up. Right, there. because her behavior. No, no, right. Right, because her behavior was that of somebody who appears to be intoxicated. I, I didn't realize that you were an expert. I don't have to be. I don't have to be. I have, I have guidelines that we follow in our manual, and you well, can actually well, look it up in the, the FAA.gov. Somebody is there. And she's recording me, and so I want that deleted. No, so, somebody will be hey, there. I'm not gonna, she's, she's recording me, and that's also against FARs. That's FAR. also against the F Federal Aviation Regulation. Okay. Say that you have to have per my permission to be filming me. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay, let's so, go. I want, I want law enforcement to deal with both of them, yes, and I want that to be deleted immediately. You can't make that demand, but they can. I, I can't. I, I, I am not intoxicated. Your inability to walk away is saying that you are. It's the exact opposite, but... Okay. I think the first thing I want to point out is the whole you can't record me nonsense that this person was trying to pull at the end of the clip. It ultimately depends on a few different factors. If we're on the plane directly, yes, in theory, you can ask that because it would be a recording that is, uh, I would say, it doesn't isn't protected by your First Amendment as much as what recording in a public place is. But here they're outside the actual plane itself. They're on the boarding tube. So it would more depend on what airport they're at and whether it's a government ran airport or a privately owned airport. It will depend on how those laws will be at play. Ultimately, though, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the other bit of this. And uh, if I'm completely honest, 
I'm more willing to side the flight attendant here because yes, there would be these things where you have a bunch of guidelines on what to do about intoxicated people and how to pick someone who might possibly be intoxicated. Now that's the thing, might possibly be intoxicated because some of the actions that intoxicated people will exhibit might also come from, might get exhibited by people who also have some form of mental disability. But usually those people who have those type of mental disabilities usually have someone else with them can actually, that can actually explain that, hey, no, nah, I'm sorry, they're not intoxicated. This is just, they've got some mental disabilities. I'm sorry about that. And yeah, clearly here there is no form of mental disabilities, as well as the flight attendant here has seen this person actively drinking whilst being loud, obnoxious, and cartwheeling around with a bunch of kids either prior to the flight itself or on the flight, on the actual plane itself. I'm not 100% which one's which because they don't make it clear in the timeline here. But ultimately I can see why this ha happened. And considering that this person's refusal to cooperate with the entire situation and just like be far more understanding like okay yeah fair enough i do seem intoxicated i can tell you i'm not but hey fair enough and potentially move for the next flight and it is sucked that you got kids who are waiting for you to get your flight and go back home but in this situation here you've shown yourself to be potentially intoxicated based upon the guidelines that employees are given to look out for when it comes to refusing intoxicated people so it is what it is maybe next time you'll learn to just like be more cooperative when these type of things happen because you might it might turn out they might see that actually no you don't seem intoxicated you're willing you're willing to work with me to figure this stuff out instead of just outright refusing and just being an asshole this first clip we've got a lazy slash entitled Karen who will not let the delivery driver leave their house after dropping off some new appliances for them expecting that the delivery driver will help them move stuff around when it comes to getting these new appliances installed yeah so I definitely have to leave no, I got kidnapped no. today oh, sorry no. <laughs> I plumber, definitely have to leave the plumber is on his way you wait no I'm sorry, but... Because, first of all, window of opportunity for delivery is 8 to 5. It's gotcha. not even 8 o'clock yet. Okay, yeah. So, you're waiting for that 15 minutes that you were here early. I got... Be, okay, no. listen, I have 15 deliveries today, 220 miles. You'll just have to call those and reschedule with I them. I am not. There's nothing I can do about it. You I, are staying. I'm not in charge here. Unload, I have, I have the superiors. I have superiors I have to listen unload to. Unload the appliances. Okay. Because you're going to leave those anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I can unload them and leave them here. And you're going to be stacking them. Yes. Okay. I can see. Yeah, I can stack them real quick. So we'll take and get it all, you know, get it all put up and we'll get it in that room. The plumber is on his way. He's got to cut two little pipes, cap them, and he'll be out. Yeah, I understand your concern here and whatnot, and you want this done, but that's you not... guys can't give me a okay, window well, of time. Listen, no, this you're is early. Thing. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not okay. calling and rescheduling. I've been, I've been I have very, had to take time been... off from work. Okay, I have been I working that. with the store I understand multiple that. times. I understand that. You are not going. Okay, I, that is, I understand that, but you cannot tell me that I'm not leaving your house. My boss informed me to leave your house, so that's just what I have to do. It's Get nothing personal. It's Get nothing personal. I don't have to have him on the phone. You're not going anywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to leave your house. No. Okay, and at this point, you've already put me in a threatened situation where I don't feel comfortable. I so... work for the police department, Okay, honey. that's fine, honey. You can't lock me in your house. You guys so are leaving. early. Okay. It is not even Thank time you. yet for you Thank to take you. and be here. You need to step out of my way. No. Okay, I'm telling you I'm going to call the police. Call 911. Okay, so if you don't move, I'm going to force my way out of your home. Call 911. Okay. I'm ultimately really curious in what happened post this recording, whether he just forced his way out or whether he actually had to call the cops in order to get it or what actually ended up happening, but I suppose we'll never know. Another piece of interesting information I've learned about this clip since I originally saw this clip a very long time ago is that this guy also got fired from this job because of this incident. So uh, yeah, I think this Karen successfully actually fired someone for once in their life. My god, what an achievement. Karen's finally finding a way to fire somebody. Oh wait, that's actually a bad thing because this guy lost his job over something he had no control over. Well, that's just mighty unfortunate. Now, this next clip is a little bit of an older one that's recently resurfaced, but we've got a tourist who's over in America that, well, uh... Seems to be a bit of a Karen because the drink that she's drinking is not as sweet as she would like to be and just claims it is expired when it's really not. It's expired. That's why it's not sweet as fire. It's not expired. Wait, is it expired? Isn't it sweet? I tasted it. 
Don't it expires it. March 20th, 2014. I don't care. It doesn't taste sweet. It's not sweet. I'm sorry. We can't help you. There's no refunds. Refunds? And what is it? Even? All is about money in America. About money. I want another juice. It's not sweet. Give me, give me a fresh, a sweet juice. That's fresh. We just it's got. It's not. It's not sweet. I don't know what to tell you. It's fine. How do you know it's fine? Did you taste it? No. Then I tasted it. It's not sweet. Why put the expired juice on the shelf? What do you get it's, not it's, it's not expired. It's not expired. I don't believe these numbers. I don't believe these numbers. I don't you believe can it. call the company and complain to them, but we're not replacing it. What company? Go to hell. What company? You fed, fed so company. Okay, you can leave now. Take your juice and go. Why should I take my juice? Give me sweet juice. No. I take my money. Why steal my money? All these fucking thieves in this, in this town. Okay, go. Leave. I call the cops. I call the cops. Okay. I call the cops. I'm not scared of you. You can escape the cops. It's not sweet. Carpe. All the fucking cunt. All right, you can go. Please leave. I'm not going. Give me sweet juice. No, leave. Yes. Ferris, bitch. Don't stare at me. I hate fat big men. Okay, All of you fine. pigs. Carpe. Don't stare at me. If, if you stare at me, you have to be cute. I hate fat pig men and I hate Mexican. All of you fucking cunt. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> All right, leave. <laughs> what should I leave? Bye bye. Bye bye. I think she may or may not have realized that she made a complete and utter fool of herself in that entire situation, or she hasn't, I don't know, it's not my need to know. In this next clip, we've got a Karen that seems extremely delusional, believing that she's not only the owner of the internet, but also the owner of Apple, and decides to cause an intervention with this pair of people here, I I don't get it, this is just funny, really. Music, can we, can we start again? What'd you say, sorry? I'm the creator of the internet and Apple computers. You're the creator of the internet? Yep, and Apple computers. You've oh, stuck wow. me out of life for the last 20 years and excluded but me from the internet. We have. This is or an just, intervention. Or just like, everyone? Just, or just like people. Or are, is it for us? Like, did we shut you out or just like society? I know this is an intervention. Okay. Don't like, worry about my so train man. ticket, for fuck's sake. So, oh, that's the train ticket. Oh, we got to read that, oh, do we? That was a whole little form Actually, that we you know what? Out. On the 10th of October this year, the internet ceases forever. Ever? Okay? Forever. So how am I supposed to upgrade my Snapchat? Are you being sarcastic? No, I don't. What am I supposed to? I rely on social media. I rely on the internet. Well, well what are we gonna do you, you should have treated me, who created it, correctly. I'm destitute. You've stolen everything and you won't even let me on level one, two or three. So because you excluded should me and because four? you're on an intervention, the internet stops on the 10th of October this Adam forever. Okay? Okay. okay. Damn, Thank you, man. Fuck, I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> man, the internet's gonna stop on the 10th of October. You better enjoy all the videos on Karen's as you can, because my god, after the 10th, it's all gone. It's all over. In this next clip, we're witnessing what is going to be the aftermath of an initial Karen incident. This Karen's turned around to realize that, oh crap, she's been recorded this entire time, and her reaction is beautiful. I don't know why. They're amazing. Yeah. Oh, I'm not protecting her. I'm getting so high with this. I mean, really? I just don't, I don't know why people have to be professional. You know what? <laughs> don't, don't touch me. Yeah, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Fine. <laughs> it's a joke. You're a sheep. You you know it is discriminating. Discrimination, my god, what a Karen. Now this next clip is probably from peak COVID. We've got a Karen and a Kevin hopping into a store without a mask, just doing their shenanigans and are complaining about the fact that they're being told to go out and out in their car for their food to come to them because they've entered the store without a mask or any form of things for COVID reasons. Which makes it more ironic that the Karens were recording themselves in the act. You don't have to follow I'm not trying to argue with you right now. I just need to know. We could have placed the order already. We could have placed an order already. Amanda is not a law. What's the difference between Amanda and Amanda? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Which means that we are not allowed to. It's not a law. It's not a law. Segregation was legal. Jim Crow law was legal. The Holocaust was legal. Where do you guys take a stand? I don't understand. I'm irritated. I'm annoyed. 
Okay, I'm because, not refusing you service. Okay, but you're telling you me to stand in the, the pool like I'm not human. Man. Your car. I'm sure your I know, you placed the order already, but then you, you got to get it. What's the difference? What's the difference? We're already inside. We already infected the everyone. The difference is that the we infected you're everyone. In the, store, the faster you're really? infecting people. So According to what? If you could just leave the store. What? Just leave the store. What? You're wearing a dirty mask, synthetic fibers on your face? Oh. Oh, no. Pretty. Yeah. We order like a normal no, human No, yeah, yeah, area. yeah. Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. That's following. That's following orders. Just like the. Just like the I just need you to leave the store. Like yeah. well, I asked just... you to leave the store and order. Well, you could have just served us. I was like, normal human being, we were going to walk out. Wow. I'm not going to give you my money if you don't have me outside in the no, car. No, that's, that's fine. You're welcome to leave. That's inhumane. Well, I hope when you sleep right now, you think about it. Because if they start to tell you not to allow me. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to say what I want to say. You could have served us because your colleague gave us the menu, right? She so didn't say to go outside in the call. You have the menu so that you can order from outside. I'm not the gonna store. give you my money if you're telling me to go outside. It's yeah, inhumane. It's inhumane. Listen, when you go sleep at night, okay, I hope you guys think about the whole so A nine day is not a law. You need to stand up for what's right. No, no, no. You need to know that because I lost my job because I didn't comply with Monday. Okay? Okay? I hope you think about it because it's gonna continue to escalate and then they're gonna come for you. What are you gonna do? What are yeah. you going to do when We're it's not coming by you? I'm sorry. What are you going to do when it's not coming by you? You should be ashamed of yourself. This is a Jewish you establishment. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, the whole... A kosher... This is not kosher. This place is not kosher. You might as well eat bacon. You might as well eat some bacon and cheeseburger. This is not a kosher place. It's not a kosher place. It's not a kosher place. Hi, Josh. My God, they wouldn't shut up, would they? <laughs> Just take your stuff outside. We get it. You're anti-vax. Who cares? Go away. Now, in the next clip, we've got a Karen who is extremely overreacting for someone parking on their street. Now, granted, we got to give the benefit of the doubt here. We have no idea where they precisely parked or whether they may have accidentally parked on the driveway or not. The Karens. Despite that lack of knowledge, this reaction is still way out of proportion. Karen of the day. On the Don't park in fuck. Good! Tell him to stop parking in front of my fucking property! And that goddamn shit too! Park right in front of my fucking driveway! Go fuck yourself! Nobody parked in front of your driveway. I'm not a fucking ma'am! Whoever you are. Fuck you. This is the same thing you're doing. You're on my fucking property, and I want you on my fucking property! You big fucking lip fuck, leave me the fuck alone! I'm gonna call the police now, okay? Well, good! Get the fuck off my property! Right. Get the fuck off my property! God damn it! My excuse phone me. is not recording. Hey, hey, excuse hey relax. Me. Excuse me. Oh, you just assaulted me. No. You're pushing me. You broke my ankle. You broke my ankle. <laughs> what the? You broke my ankle. Are you on drugs or something? Are you on drugs? Get the fuck off my property now. Yes. Who's parking? You park in front oh of my, my property. God. And don't park in front. Who are you servicing right now? Who are you? Stop it. Why? They're parked in front of my property. Close the door. He broke my ankle. He twisted my ankle. I'm calling the police on you! Uh, Fuck you! Madison oh Avenue in East Brunswick. Shane, the clip ends there. Would have loved to see more on the results of this shenanigans. So this guy spent over $5,000 on a Beyonce ticket, and while say, going to his flight to Houston, the flight gets delayed. Absolute genius. <laughs> You telling me these people is sober? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he gonna lose his job? Why would he think that? Oh, what the fuck? Don't even So I'm sorry, you uh, your main plan here was to spend a lot of money getting the tickets to be able to enter the concert, but actually get a last minute flight. Like, wouldn't you really have some form of other backup plan, maybe attempt to get a fly the day beforehand, so in case a flight gets delayed, because you know, flights getting delayed has become extremely common over the past little while, so it's very likely this was going to happen. 
and you losing your mind like this, it's, like, it's one of those things, if you just take a moment to plan, you would have realized that, yeah, there's probably a high chance of it being delayed, so either be either get a flight the day beforehand so you don't have to worry about the delay being a problem or you drive there and take a nice long road trip i don't know like it seems like you've just made a massive mistake by spending so much money on the concert ticket itself but not actually planning things properly here we have a guy who was casually taking photos of young women on the bus and got caught out by one of them having to delete all those photos here's what happens Look at all these fucking things, bro. Okay, look. Oh, sir. Look, do you need help? It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna delete all of them. All of them. All of them. I will delete all. No, we're gonna see you. Okay, we don't have to do it one by one. Look, there's a shortcut. Come on, come on. We're gonna do the shortcut. Okay. And we're gonna. Okay, we'll keep these, okay? The wine bottle. Okay, and we're gonna delete it. Okay. And then go to. Yeah, we're gonna look at this. How do we album? Mm-hmm. We're gonna go I, I don't know. No, no, no. Sorry. We know. Oh, okay, open that up. Open that up. Open that up. Uh, <laughs> open that now. Put your passcode in. I talked it all the way from the back. Uh, uh, one more. Okay, try again. Uh, uh, okay, try again. Uh, okay, give me this. Yes, because that's disgusting. I hate people like this. You see it on the beach, you see it in public, you just see it everywhere. Like, it's a genuine overall problem. It's just absolutely wild. And unfortunately, because of the First Amendment, unless you can prove these people are purposely stalking you in specific, they can't really get into too much trouble for it. Yeah, socially, they're an extreme perv, but beyond that, there's not much you can do. If you can successfully get them to delete their the photos, then yeah, good on ya. But it's one of those weird, just gross, unfun things. Here we got a guy who absolutely loses his mind in a Walmart. Yeah, I take a deep breath. Ha! Right back at you, your own medicine. You don't know who the f you're f with. I don't give a shit. Mind your f***ing business, you understand me? Sir, what's the problem? Ask her. Ask her. I was literally not doing anything. Bullsh**. Bullshit. I ain't leaving after this is all. Nope. Bullshit. Call, call PD. We're gonna call PD. But yeah. Your behavior is not gonna be tolerated. I don't give a sh. She needs to mind her business and stay out of my business because right she doesn't you're know the, the, what the fuck's going right on. I don't give a sh. I don't give a sh. I don't give a sh. Mind that rat ass. No bullshit. You know what the fuck. Did you retrieve my contacts? No. My email? No. My best. Bullshit. Bullshit. No. Bullshit. Bullshit. Leave it. I ain't leaving. That's alright. I mean, we'll get the cops in here. Get the cops in here. I give a. You know exactly what's going on, see? I know my contacts are lost, my messages, and my photos. I don't give a flying. I don't give a flying. Yeah, I saw that nod that coincide. That's why you are staying tall. Okay, PD undercover. Shit, who's covered with the fuck? Oh, and you're wrong. My scout, Nike Delta yeah, scout, yeah. looking for the enemy. And you're showing all the signs of an undercover. Ha 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 It's funny, huh? It's funny, huh? Pulling your covers, huh? Giving you a case of your own medicine. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the facial expression now. Videoing me. Keep videoing me. Keep videoing me. They ain't gonna be all right. Mind your business next time. See what the. You know what the f going on? 
You lose the podcast. Um, All your email shit. Um, like five, five, four, five, eight. Yeah, I mean, Almost two, oh, was one, two shots. Bullshit. So all this has something to do with he lost his emails and phone numbers and photos and something along those lines and apparently it's all the workers fault that this occurred. Did you do something silly by erasing your previous phone before transferring anything over to a new phone or something along those lines? Because I don't know how in the world something like this actually happens in that way. And maybe, maybe, just maybe you need to learn how to just cool your own temperature so you're not just screaming at the top of your lungs all the time. Especially in these situations where, yeah, you are pretty much the aggressor on everything here. There's no but, buts or ifs about it. You are. Here we go to Kevin who slightly loses it over someone who he perceives to be illegal. I'm illegal! I hate illegal! What is the problem? You are illegal! You are illegal! Mother illegal! Why what is you? your problem? You are what is your problem? Why are you yelling at him? Where? No, he can't do that! Yes, he can. No, he can't! Hey, I almost had an accident. What do you uh, what do you say? You say f illegal. Okay. Get the f out of here, mother. Here we have yet another racist mother uh, Man, always seeing some of these clips is just people just being complete and utter assholes to other people. We're all humans, man. Why do we need to be like this to each other? We all got lives when lives. We all have goals. Like, why do we have to be like this? Like, this is genuinely the worst thing. This is just, oh man. Man, sometimes the human race just disappoints me, you know? It's just depressing. Here we have the neighborhood Karen causing issues once again. You need to be 12 to 2 feet away from the property line. So do you when it comes to my yard. No, I'm gonna get on your property like you've been on mine. It was one time to catch I'm my dog. Three times, yes, and we haven't been since. You need to stop. And I am asking you nicely. He is staying off of your property. You need to go back inside and stop causing harassment issues. Yep, I work from home all day. I know. A big loser. So it's the end of the world when she quickly runs into your yard just to grab her dog to take her out of your yard. Even if it's just for a moment, that's the world is ending, the sky is falling down, your house is about to collapse because the dog and her stepped foot into your yard for probably not even 30 seconds, not even 10 seconds probably. It probably was a very quick get the dog out of there as soon as we can because we know this person who lives here is a complete nut, a psychopath who's going to go off her nut at the moment she knows about this. And well, well, you know. No, that's exactly what she's done. Here we have a work having to deal with an asshole of a co-worker who is annoying him for sitting down taking his break. Here yeah, come people a mother hey, you, you, need you need a meeting to watch your mouth, bro. Watch your mouth and learn respect. Okay, I, I heard you the first 27 Get, get out of my face, bro. What's wrong? Look, I got you on tape. Good. 
Disrespectful. Disrespectful, bro. I'm not, I'm not here. Learn how to speak to people. I'm 30 years of age. I'm a grown man. I'm not your child. But Don't come here. I tell me I'm sitting on the fucking lounge. What's wrong with you? Shut up. I'll be shut, shut up. up. Don't talk to me like that, bro. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not do? your kid. Learn to respect me. I'm a okay. grown man. I'm 30 okay. years of age. I've been what? shoveling, raking shit. Watch your mouth, bro. Watch your mouth. Learn some respect. You on cameras. Ain't nobody acting. I've been raking, shoveling, and doing shit. I took a break and he been sitting down. No and guy. you come in here talking like I'm your kid. I'm not your kid, bro. No Don't curse at me. Take me. I'm a stupid motherfucker. I got you on tape. Watch your mouth, bro. Odd. I'm, I'm not 100% sure of what label laws America has, but I'm going to guarantee that's nowhere near as strict as what we have over here in Australia. If your manager tries to do this to us in Australia, you can effectively have the book thrown at them for interrupting your, your given break time, your legally owed break time. Which is hilarious because I've seen it happen. I've seen one of the major companies get so far up one guy's ass because he decided to try and annoy someone whilst they're on their break. It's just like, you don't do that. Unfortunately, I don't think, as I said before, the labor laws in America ain't anywhere near as strict as what we have here in Australia. So I'm guessing they can just get away with doing like this, but it is what it is. In this first clip, we've got a Karen who's complaining about the lack of cheese in her meal, and this other person decides to start recording them and decides to poke the bear just a wee bit. Is that all for you? No, it's turning in his uh sheep <laughs> What do you take? It's fucking yeah! Oh no, get away! More cheese! More cheese! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Who the fuck no, does I that? Oh no, get out of here! She's gonna get me! <laughs> Give her more cheese! Well, so yes, this, uh, he made a complete and utter fool of himself by getting involved in the way he did. It makes for a pretty brilliantly funny clip. <laughs> in this next clip, we've got an anti-mask Karen who's come up to a bunch of cashiers who are working with mask on, decides to start recording them and bullying them. So in response, another customer decides to record the Karen being a Karen. I'm in Target by Columbus Circle, and this idiot is bullying the cashiers because she doesn't want to wear a mask, and she's streaming on Instagram. And they love drama, so let's give them drama. Let's give them drama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please. Oh, my God, do it again. I love that. I'm obsessed with that. So what's your name? Well, if you're strong in your convictions, just say your name. Okay, sweet. Isn't really willing to give her more like airtime. Like she's just another idiot. Um, like we've all seen them. But the best part is that when she started getting huffy, I saw her earphones like fall like out of her bag or whatever, like off to the side. And at first I was like gonna get her attention and then I saw what she was doing. So while she was like on her little tirade and standing up for her rights or whatever, I um, just picked them up and I just took them. And so this bitch will not have any music um, and we'll have to buy new headphones. Signed, a fact. You know what? Didn't see that coming. Whilst I don't condone stealing in any way, shape or form, the Karen kind of deserved it. I mean, if your stuff's falling out of your bag when you're losing your shite at against a bunch of people who honestly don't deserve it, well then, uh, deserved. <laughs> but don't worry, in a follow-up clip he does return them. Hi, I'm uh, I'd like to submit these stupid ear pods uh, to the lost and found. Yeah. Oh, you're the best. I'm sorry you guys put up with that. I wanted to return this stupid idiot's uh, headphones. I'll take them. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys put up with that. Yeah, we appreciate the video. Uh, thanks, guys. Now, in this next clip, we've got a pretty irate customer over a simple drink who's absolutely losing his marbles over the fact that this drink was made by someone. I'm assuming it's not tasting exactly how he wanted it or it wasn't made precisely to his specifications, but he kind of loses it a little bit. Yeah. You have 
no room to yell at them. I want to speak to the fucking person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't me. we don't know me. who made it, so... You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we obviously don't know. Fucking stupid, fucking ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the fucking... Bye, man. okay, you can call corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Do you understand? Do you understand? Fuck 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 you understand? No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. Kevin was later arrested. There's a very interesting story when it comes to this clip overall. If we, like, going through what actually happened here. So, apparently, going into it, this guy ordered a peanut flavored drink for his child, but made it clear they didn't want actual peanuts to be in the drink itself. Now, we can assume, we now know that it's because his kid's allergic to peanuts, but that's one thing he never made clear to the workers. Whilst I would address a tiny smidgen of a fault to the employers and not potentially think about that being a possible reason why they don't want peanuts in there i ultimately give the onus onto the father themselves he should have made it clear that the reason why he doesn't want peanuts to be in this drink is because your son's allergic to it like if you make that clear these workers can do what they need to do to make sure no form of cross-contamination will actually happen that will cause your kid to have an allergic reaction as that's probably what happened here his there was some form of cross-contamination from peanuts from a previous drink because it wasn't made 100 percent clear the reason why this is occurring is because of an allergy and it caused the kid to have an allergic reaction now apparently what happened post this clip is that the kid the teenager that had the drink thrown at her sued the guy she managed to win i think it was like twenty thousand dollars or something something not massively major as well as this guy did end up losing his job as well because of this which ultimately deserved i get it your child's having a massive allergic reaction but ultimately the reason why that happened is mostly on you because you never made it clear that your child has this form of allergies so the employees couldn't do what they need to do to make sure that there was no way cross-contamination could occur to lead to your kid having said allergic reaction in this next clip we have a kevin who got pulled over for having their phone in their hand whilst driving. It's not quite happy about that fact. How you doing, sir? The reason I'm stopping you... Judge here. Williams. Judge, I don't... What, why did you stop me? You had your cell phone in your hand. I had my phone like this. Yeah. I just lost it. I was just okay. looking for it. Pulled it up like this. Was okay. not on it. I just looked in the... Car. Go up and look. Okay, why are you screaming at me? Sir, I you have wasn't your doing anything. You have your license registration proof insurance? I wasn't doing anything okay. wrong. You have your license registration proof insurance? I'm not going to give you my license registration. You I wasn't going something wrong. You cannot have a handheld. I had my phone screen. just like this. I was that not is, on my phone. And what state was it in? You cannot have a handheld cell phone. And you all aren't ever on yours, right? You're never on yours. I drive by a lot of times, and you all are on yours. You're never on yours, right? Okay, I don't understand you're why you're yelling at me. You're never on yours. Why are you yelling at me, sir? I said you're never on yours. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not, I'm not yelling mentioned. at you. Yes, you have been. I've never raised my voice at you. Let me tell you something. You. you all are on yours. I was not. If you read the code, the code says that if we're conducting official business, you can be on it. I just don't know why you're no, yelling no. at me. No, not on official business. Okay. Here. Thank you, sir. I, what, what's, why are you uh, so uptight? Huh? Go ahead and give me a ticket. What's Go going ahead. on? Give me a ticket. Why are you so shaky? What's going on? I'm irritated because you pulled me over. For no reason. You had your cell phone in your hand. I picked up my cell phone because I had it lost. Okay. I pulled it up here and I was had my hand on it here okay. to put it in here. You That's know the what law, you saw. You know the law. So what? What if I have a cup in my hand? You, you can't have a cell phone and instead of a jean in your hand. Okay. Give me a ticket. I don't write me a ticket. I just don't understand why you're... Go give me a ticket. Write me a ticket. And I'll take it up to the town office and I'll go to trial. But give me a ticket. Go ahead. It's ridiculous what you're doing. How ridiculous. is it ridiculous? 
It's ridiculous. That you had yourself in because a hand. You, you all have yours. I've seen it many times. Y'all have yours, and you don't get pulled over. And it, tell me, don't tell me it's an official business. I hear your cases every day in court. Okay, what's that Go mean? Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. Come on, give me a ticket. I'm, I'm really don't... irritated about this whole... Go ahead and give me a ticket. But why are you being like this to me? I've never done nothing to you in my whole life. You just pulled me over for no because reason. Because you had yourself on your hand. Pulled me over for no reason. Give you had yourself on your hand. Okay. I, you can break me a ticket or not. I don't care. I'll take it up to town. We'll go to a trial, buddy. That's fine with me. And I tell you what, the next time I see any of you on the phone, I'm stopping right there and call the state police. Any of them. Okay. This is how I had my phone. I reached down and got it under my seat. I pulled it up here. I was driving like this. I was not talking on it. You can look. You can look when you pulled me over. See whether I was on my phone. Why are you being like this? I'm being it because I've seen this crap enough. And I'm tired here of it. Here you go. Here's your license. Message for privilege insurance. Give it to me. Let me have my license now. Also, you need to go get your license up to date because they're expired, okay? A very interesting clip, that one for sure. I would personally, if I was a police officer, just be done with it, grab the ticket and be done with it instead of trying to get some more information out of this guy because clearly he's a bit upset, irritated, all these other things. He's just going to cause you issues if you try to press anything. Now, in this next clip, we've got a Karen who was being pretty racist to a person, and when this person goes to confront them as they're trying to leave the store, the store employee gets involved, and rather than helping out and trying to deal with the Karen first, he decides to go on about the fact that she's recording this incident. Karen tells the woman to go back to her country and steals her items, and the employee refused to help unless she deleted the video she was. Recording. I need to apologize now. I need to apologize. Okay. Both are mine. I gave her one. She said, go back to your country. She said, this is how it works. She needs to take one from me. Because that's her country, not my country. No, I said, go back to where that is the way it works. <laughs> Everyone around you heard did, you. Did Go I, back did to your I country. not offer to That's help what you, you with said. loading it? Prior. I said thank you, right? I said okay. no need. I'm waiting for my dad to help me. Okay, real quick, are you videotaping this right now? Yes, I need to. Can you delete the video, please? No, no, no. Ma'am. No. I will refuse both if you don't. Delete this is. The video. Hey, this is what you did to me, and I have the right to tape it. I didn't do anything to you. She's though. doing something bad to me. Right. She is However, doing something back to, to me. Uh, this for you. Call the police. If the police ask me to delete it, I will. Otherwise, I cannot. However, I am trying to resolve this for you. I'm asking you nicely to delete the video that I you are currently I will keep the taking. videotape until the police there's message nothing, that I have to delete it. There's okay? nothing that you need the video for? There's no crime yes, being I committed? Do. Yes, I do. She is being very racist. Told me to go back to your country. This is not supposed to... What are you supposed to do to me? Okay? I have the right to protect myself. What if she does something bad to me? I need to videotape it. Okay. Is, okay? is your well-being or life being threatened while you're in the store? Oh, so what she did, yes. She was like, go back to your country. And was for it, the people like that, hey, it's not right to be you're, racist. You're and I have the full right to protect myself, take the video, just in case she does something bad to me. Yeah. Okay? She has not. She has not yet. Doesn't mean she will not. She wasn't coming back that direction. She took my stuff from my hand. It looks like someone and might have grabbed the other one. Yeah, that's my dad. Okay, I'm just making sure. I was waiting for him to help me right. to load it. But She took my stuff. Can I ask you a question? I need to call the police. Are you, are you hurt? Are you injured? My heart hurts. Your heart hurts? Yes, because she said go back to your country. It's, not, it's nothing to you because you're white. It's your own country, right? And she said, go back to your own country. If we're, if we're gonna make this She's not taking this from me. I'm okay with her taking it. If we're making this, okay this, if we're making this about a bigger issue towards me, not, but I'm not going to refuse you. this from you. Not towards you. I'm asking you politely to delete the video. No. Unless I'm the, sorry, um, I cannot help you at this point. Hey, unless the, doc, uh, unless the policeman tell me to do so. Okay? Your life is not being threatened. <laughs> you say it's, so. You say so. At what so. point was she threatening? She needs to apologize to me. Don't make it like a little deal. It's, it's a racist a thing. Deal, it's not a little thing. However, you're making a much bigger thing with your phone out right now than yeah. it needs to be. Hey, I'm recording it to keep the evidence, okay? Of what? Just in case she does something bad. What is she going to do? Who knows? 
I didn't know she was going to be racist. I don't know what you're going to do either, man. I didn't know she was going to be. I, I, maybe I post online. I don't know. To let people see it. To let people see this people in the country. You need to find someone to talk to me. To have her apologize to me. She's not taking such stuff her on do my hands. So. But if I delete the video, but you need to delete why? the video. Tell me, tell me the because reason you why. You can't be recording in here, ma'am. Where? Where is that? The that? store. Where, where is that? that? Give me, give me the rules. Let me see it. Let me read it. So, and it's my to own me, phone. It like I'm telling being, you. You're being combative. You're being hostile. So right now, you are the threatening one in this situation. Threatening so one you of the situation about what? I was not threatened by her. However, you did walk down the aisle towards us starting yelling at her again so to me right yelling now yelling at her i so, said she needs to apologize so right to me now, i did not yell at her so right now ma'am you're the one that's being threatening to everyone else hold on hold on can we call you're not going to tell me to hold on ma'am hey you're being the one threatening to everyone else walking down this aisle recording. what did i do i don't know what you're going to do yet i need to apologize from her i need to I record need to it to make sure i have the well. evidence why would I need to apologize to you? You're, oh, you're, you are assuming that she's going to do something. However, you're also assuming that it's not a big deal to me. And that hurts my okay, heart. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, that part, that's, that's not okay. if I said so something I wrong, I'm sorry. Video, oh, you're not asking me to delete the video yet. No, I'm Until, asking you to delete the video. No, this, why? I'm keeping the right evidence. This is what, Jesus, what we're supposed to do when we face the issues like this. By, and you just don't delete the videos like that. By del recording this entire thing, you're making the situation much bigger than it because needs to be. And we could have handled it without that. How? After she apologized to me, I can. Okay? After I'm asking we get you to delete it first, and then I can make that arrangement. Sorry. I, I have no point to do it right now. Because you can just walk away say, oh, I'm nothing happened. You, you can just walk away say, nothing happened. And delete that, and I can make that work. But you're not being really reasonable. You're being combative right now. How about we call the police, have the police come over here, and let him tell me what to do? What are they going to charge somebody with? She's being racist. That's, I mean, it sucks. As much to, as it sucks, she needs, it's not she against needs to the apologize law. to me. But it, you also, you also we, assume look, things of my, myself that I don't what particularly did I, care you, for. Yeah, well, but I I'm not going to call sorry. the police for that. I said I'm sorry. If I assume that I you didn't care this big enough, was, I'm sorry. That's unfortunate, but I'm I've asking seen you again news, to please delete the video. I've seen enough news people doing that to Asian people, okay? This is not right. Uh, this is kind of going in circles at the moment. I just want to apologize. And I said I could talk to her, but you And I'm not delete deleting the video, video unless the policeman tells me to do. I get that your store may have a no recording policy, but wouldn't you want to resolve the first issue and then move on to the whole fact that she was recording the entire incident? Wouldn't you rather deal with the Karen who was apparently being racist first, figure out that situation, then defuse the other thing? If you're going to claim that, oh, I want to defuse the situation, but I, I want you to stop recording first, it, it just seems so stupid. I, I get it, you may not be allowed to record in your store, but at the same time, deal with that situation first, then come back to the whole recording ordeal. I'm pretty sure the person would be far more willing to just remove the video if you, I don't know, comply and just help her deal with the first thing first. Anyway, in this next clip, we've got a Karen who's a bit annoyed because the flight's been delayed. So instead of sitting there and waiting like everyone else would, she's walked up to the pilot's door and is knocking on the door. And everyone decides to record her. Karen, on a delayed flight, tries to knock on the pilot's door.
the whole thing of like, oh yeah, but I've worked in an airlines company before, you know, this is fine. It's like, why, you would also know at the same time that flights get delayed pretty often and you're just better off sitting there and waiting for it to get going again if no one knows the actual answer to that. Like, come on, what a waste of time.